Hello everyone, my name is Chris Williams. I'm a physical therapist assistant um, and the community rehab director at Crowsdale Village uh, in Durham, North Carolina, which is a CCRC um, here in the Southeast. Um, I've been with Health Pro Heritage for about six years now. Um, uh, and uh, this is my first video blog ever, so please bear with me uh, throughout this. Today we're gonna to be talking about therapeutic exercise. Uh, commonly known as CPT code 97110 um, and the documentation that goes along with it. Um, it is highly utilized at Crowsdale Village being a uh, unique facility where uh, about two-thirds of our caseload is uh, outpatient um, as well as being used with the inpatient caseload. Um, so we, we use that uh, quite a lot um, and the documentation that goes along with that uh, has to be uh, skilled and um, has to give uh, pertinent skilled um, services um, along with that. Um, therapeutic exercise is a commonly used yet under documented strategy. Um, it is a necessary component uh, for many skilled plans of care um, but um, we need to be very thorough um, and diligent in our documentation that goes along with that. Uh, therapy uh, services are covered, uh, provided um, with a level of complexity and sophistication that um, has to be seen as only being able to be provided by a skilled uh, therapy provider. Um, it cannot be a um, a type of or form of um, exercise or routine exercise uh, that could be given uh, by nursing care or a companion such as um, rotating individuals uh, for pressure relief or uh, routine uh, walking uh, after um, a uh, surgical procedure. Um, Therapeutic exercise is used for the purposes of restoring strength, um, range of motion, and flexibility. Uh, endurance um, is not um, covered under that skilled um, therapeutic exercise, um, CPT code 97110. Um, the intervention has to be um, documented well um, on what we are providing. Um, uh, versus just those routine exercises or carryover on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, uh, exercises that promote overall fitness, um, maintain flexibility, um, endurance enhancing or aerobic conditioning and weight reduction are not covered under those skilled services. Um, the um, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, you, we all know that Medicare and, and CMS changes really almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I know myself uh, and a lot of other folks, um, even coming out of school, um, we were taught that, you know, document, um, you can document what exercise you're doing, uh, the repetitions, the weight, um, uh, and the, uh, well, the resistance uh, other than the weight, um, you know, that was, that was completely fine uh, to be done. Uh, but now we have to give our overall view, and especially as good a job as Health Pro does with, uh, we all know about putting in our uh, functional component um, that uh, really ties in the reasoning that we're doing it. Um, so just those number of repetitions, weight, um, and number of sets is not, um, enough uh, for for skilled documentation. Uh, always know what your goal is, whether it's muscle strength, um, hypertrophy, or etc. Uh, ensure the right type of exercise for this goal. Make sure it ties into the goal that's established under the plan of care. And consider the six variables uh, with every session. What your training time is, what your frequency is, training volume, training intensity, uh, the type of exercise and the quality of exercise, how the patient is responding to all of this. Um, the functional assessment, uh, the plan of care should um, support any goals for strengthening endurance, range of motion, and relate to the specific function. 
um, that has to be tied into um, reason for referral and therapy necessity. Um, to give you a couple of examples, um, CMS and uh, Medicare documentation has changed. Um, when it comes to um, whether it be omnicycle, omnicycle or the weights or SciFit stepper or, or the new step, uh, we can't just put down patient completed new step for 15 minutes. Um, we have to include uh, what the resistance was, what extremities we were using, bilateral, upper and lower extremity, um, what the reasoning was for uh, why we were completing that. Um, it has to be one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, throughout that session. We can't just put somebody on the machine and, and, and leave them to complete it. Uh, what type of verbal cueing and education we were giving throughout and how the patient responded to all of that. Um, it all just goes back to being very thorough uh, with with all of uh, the documentation that we do, um, with therapeutic exercise being one of them. Um, with this, um, I know, especially at my building, and I'm sure everybody else sees that we have how how documentation is changing, and we have to know that uh, we have to be very thorough um, and we have to let that auditor um, or even the next therapist treating behind us uh, know what we did the previous day, um, how the patient responded, what the outcomes were, and what we were trying to attain on a functional basis. Um, all this ties into painting that picture uh, that um, we're, we're getting into these days. Um, uh, and for the overall good of the patient um, and patient care. Um, I really, um, as a call to action, um, I want you guys and everybody watching this video blog, uh, which some of this is review, um, but it's always good to review um, what we do on a daily basis. Um, I urge you to comment or ask questions uh, on the website that this is posted to. Um, alternative sources uh, for this information um, in more detail uh, can be found um, with the Medicare Benefit Policy uh, Manual, uh, can be found on CU360, uh, and it can also be found on the company documents uh, page uh, that's on our uh, laptops or on the mobile devices. Um, I know this was brief, but I hope uh, you all gathered something from this. Um, I urge you all, as well as myself on a daily basis, to take a look at, at our daily documentation uh, when it comes to therapeutic exercise and make sure uh, that we're painting that overall picture of what we're trying to do um, on a daily basis uh, for these patients. I uh, hope you all have a great day um, and take care.